Hi guys, my name is Chris. Welcome to another My Protein Masterclass video. In this video, we're going to talk about whether you should bulk or cut first. This is one of the most commonly asked questions in the gym, but the answer is not so straightforward. <gasps> it's a little bit more complicated, it depends on the context. The reason why it's not so straightforward is because each person has a different calorie requirement, a different amount of exercise they do per day, different lifestyle, and different goals, and most importantly, different perceptions. So for example, one person's lean is not necessarily another person's lean. So one person may have to get down to 5% body fat to be happy. Someone else might be really happy at 12 or above. So it's establishing all these different variables that makes that decision of when we should bulk or cut. When periodized correctly, one phase leads to another. So ideally, you come down into a diet and you're looking forward to eating food. And then you come up to a point of high food, you're looking forward to diet. So the whole process becomes very easy and you almost zigzag between the two, gaining the most progress possible. One aspect that most people find confusing is defining the difference between a bulk or a cut. If we start by defining a bulk, that would be usually when someone's in a calorie surplus, pushing training hard and trying to gain a substantial amount of muscle. But if they go too far into a surplus and start gaining fat too fast, they'll only be able to stay there for a very limited time before having to diet again. This often means they struggle to gain much muscle because they're only there for a short space of time. So ideally, if we get the calculation correct, we're in a slight surplus, pushing training hard and gaining body fat very slowly whilst also gaining muscle and trying to keep that percentage of body fat gain to a minimum realistically. If we are in a surplus, we are gonna see some body fat gain because we've got an, a surplus of energy, we've got an excess. So the idea of lean bulking and not gaining any body fat whilst gaining muscle is very, very challenging. If we're looking to gain a really good amount of muscle and make good progress, we need to be putting ourselves into a calorie surplus and staying there for a certain amount of time. The point in which we continue this too is different for every single person. And this is why I say it's not very straightforward to answer this question because one person's idea of being out of shape is different to another person's. But that would mean we have to push the calories up, which a lot of people struggle with because they're so scared of gaining excess body fat. But this when it comes into gaining professional help and really having that nice controlled structure that's perfect for you as a unique individual. So if we structured the bulk in a really good way, it'll then prime us perfectly to go into a dieting phase. We continue it down to again, a point that we're happy with. It could be that one person at 10% is the leanest they've ever been and they are super happy at that point. Someone else might wanna continue well past that point. And as unique individuals, some people are able to drop to a low level of body fat and their body will be happy there. This often comes from where they've been previously. So for example, I was someone who was very overweight in the past. My body is not that happy being very lean. I have to really battle it to get down there and it really wants to fight against me to get back up. However, if someone's never really had a high amount of body fat, they'll often be able to drop to a, a low level of body fat quite easily and the body's not really resisting them that much and they'll be able to find homeostasis quite easily down there somewhere. Whereas someone else might bounce back up to a higher level and their body is not functioning properly while it's even at that low level of body fat. One of the best examples of this is bodybuilders. So if we see how low they go in terms of body fat, some people can get quite close to stage quite easily. The bodies are not really resisting them. Some people are killing themselves with so much cardio and so low food, just trying to get there. But their health is being really compromised in the process. So this is why we have to be careful that we're only able to go to a point that is healthy for us. If we drop our calories too low, our expenditure too high, the stress it causes the body is massive and it can even start to bring down things like your hormonal function and your body just starts to slow down in all its processes. And that's something we don't want because then that's not priming us back for the growth phase. We then need a recovery phase to restore all the damage we've caused by the excessive dieting before we can think about trying to gain muscle or be back in a surplus. Another example of the damage we can see from excessive dieting is with people with eating disorders. We've seen a lot of examples of females, even in their teenage years, getting perimenopausal symptoms because they've been in such a low calorie state for so long. And this can cause such a disruption to their hormone production in such a vital time, but can also take years and years to try and recover from. So we have to be very, very mindful when dieting to the extremes to understand where the point of becoming unhealthy starts. And that is often where we start to transition back out of the dieting phase and go up to the maintenance phase or trying to go back into a surplus to progress forwards. So in summary, the decision whether to bulk or cut first is completely dependent on you, dependent on your goals, your start point and where you want to be. Hopefully that's give you some more clarity on whether you should bulk or cut first. 
Don't forget, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments box below. Like the video and make sure you subscribe to the MyProtein YouTube channel.